Hey guys, what's up? It's Nikki Exotica. I'm back. I needed to take some time off social media. Um, I kind of liked last night's episode. You know, I know I shocked a lot of people because I guess they weren't expecting me to say that, but I want people to understand that people who are trans don't have an easy lifestyle and the time that I came out and not having the support from my family was really hard. So having that struggle and being in the streets, having a way to survive and having an only way was, that's what I had to do what I had to do. So, um, but I just not Isn't it funny? <laughs> I find this quite funny to be fair. So you're telling us that you're more than happy and more than comfortable to come out on national television and tell everyone that watched the show that when you was you know, in your early days of transitioning, because your family didn't accept you, you decided to pretty much, you know, sleep with people for money. It's funny how she's comfortable to tell us all these things now, but yet she couldn't even tell her man, Igor, aka Justin, that she was trans. Fair enough, the timeline, fair enough at the time when she was trans, it may not have been acceptable, blah, 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 blah. But the fact is, though, fast forward to this day, do we really need to know what you did to survive? We don't. So she's pretty much been one head of a hypocrite as per usual by coming out here and saying that, you know, obviously I had to say that because of bloody daddy, daddy, dad. Like, really? Really? Come on now. <laughs> The way I look at it, I would rather tell someone that I'm trans rather than tell someone that I used to sleep for money. Like, let's be real. And also, you know, it's crazy. The fact that she's coming out of this whole angle of being like an advocate for trans people. So basically you're trying to say that like all trans people have to sleep around just to earn money. Is that what you're trying to say? You know what I mean? Because if anything, if you ask me, you're probably diminishing other people that are trans because, uh, you know, they may have come, they may have transitioned at a time when it was unacceptable or whatever, but it doesn't mean that they went around doing a complete whatever they had to do to survive. So to be honest with you, the fact that she's saying that is so freaking naive to me, but hey, <laughs> it's Nikki Exotica, ladies and gentlemen. Mm -hmm. Never judge anybody for their past and just um, accept them for who they are, make sure they have a nice heart and a good person. That's all. I also want to say something else is that watching back, you know, the episodes and seeing myself on camera and how I act, it's kind of like therapy for me because I can kind of like see my flaws and see my faults of what I've done or how I treated him or how I reacted in a situation where I could have acted differently. So, um, I mean, I think it's good in a way because it makes me work on myself harder and be more patient with him um, and be more understanding. I find that quite comical because to be honest, she can talk about how she watches herself and she, you know, decides to self-analyze and all that kind of mumbo jumbo. But, but you cannot tell me that from watching the show, that you truly believe that this man actually wants to be with you. Fair enough, you're not wrong. The way she has behaved and reacted to certain situations has not been the best. It has been absolutely appalling. I mean, for example, telling his friends the first time you meet them that you used to sell yourself. I mean, to be fair, even that itself alone is a problem, but hey, we're just gonna justify that one as if it was A-OK -okay to tell people T TMI information on the first freaking like meeting. Like, come on, <laughs> what a hypocrite, but anyway. Um, I want to see her recognize that this guy is just not into you. Not tell us what we already know about how much you're pretty much a, uh, well, let me not say that, but we continue. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, I wasn't having that before, but hearing masses of people and their, their opinions, it really made me think a lot, you know, so... I do have to understand his side and where he comes from and his culture and all that. Also, when you're thinking about her age, you think a person at her age by now would know how to communicate with other people, would know how to treat others. So the fact that she's saying that it took her, what, 40 plus years to see herself on TV to realize that the way she treats people or treats him is not acceptable. <laughs> I find that hilarious too. Now, I ain't saying it's too late for her to change. I ain't saying everybody recognizes things early on, but come on. You, 
cut the BS. Cut the BS. You're, she's literally just trying to pound it to the audience by saying what she's saying. But hey, we continue. That. Hey guys, what's up? I'm next to my man right now. <laughs> Vicious. I just wanted to make an announcement. I have been on fan basis and I do offer a lot of different experiences. I have been getting a lot of uh, people asking me about advice about my eye color change or surgical procedures that I've done. Um, I really wish I could spend time on my DMs and spend time answering all your questions, but it would be a lot. And my time is not free. And my experiences were not free with the plastic surgeons. So uh, my knowledge is very well. I have been botched and put back together so I know which doctors to go to. As I was saying, I've been put back together again. So I know the top plastic surgeons from all over the world, from Beverly Hills to New York to Columbia to Turkey, wherever. So just give me a, you know, pay for my experience and I will give you a 30 minute video call I do offer other experience as well. If you want dieting tips, workout tips, how I keep my body so thin, um, I can give you, share with you what I do. I eat one meal a day, believe it or not. Sometimes two, but mostly one. I know it's not healthy, but when I wanna go on a fasting, all right, listen, man. Let's keep it a buck. Let's keep it a freaking buck. <laughs> Who in their right mind would want to go to somebody that has been to multiple sources, multiple sources for their look? I mean, I appreciate the fact that uh, she missed that she's been botched. The part about being put back, being put back together, though, I mean, <laughs> yeah, that one is already very subjective, depending on who wants to comment on that one, if you know what I mean. For me personally, <laughs> I gotta say I disagree with that one. But anyway, it is quite interesting, though, isn't it, that Nick, you always find a way to try and promote some business, which isn't a bad thing. You gotta do what you gotta do to survive in this world. I completely agree. But uh, to be honest with you, if you're giving me a resume of where you know doctors, surgeons from like so many different places in the world, for me personally, man, I, I I don't know if that's a good thing to be honest with you, but it tells me that wherever you, it, it tells me that you've been to several places purely because each time you went to each and every place, you got botched, 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 botched until you finally found one that maybe didn't botch you as much, depending on how you want to look at it. Like I said before, it's subjective whether you want to say that she's botched or not. You know, it's all come down to people's uh, opinions and what they see, and uh, you know, obviously your own perspective. But anyway. Let me know what you're thinking of about everything that she had to say. Obviously, I've given you my thoughts. And uh, yeah, I'll leave it there. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and of course, peace. Oh.